recording yourself and your screen at the same time, like this, or this, even this. It's not hard. In fact, there are a few ways to do this, and you're not just stuck with using a crappy little thumbnail up in the corner either. In fact, there's one way that I'm going to show you, and you'll be able to take this way beyond what anybody else does. Maybe have you on one part of your screen, your desktop on another part, even switch to a different camera handle at the same time. Sounds super complicated, but it's not. I'll show you how the pros do it. Look, building an audience, getting people to pay attention to you. It's all about looking professional. In fact, before we get to setting all this up, if you want to look pro on video, build an audience, sell more, I've put a link below to my free guide that shows you what you need to do to pull this off without spending a lot on equipment or getting technical. Anyway, let's get to it. Let's start with the basics, you being on screen along with your presentation. The first way that I'll show you works on both PC and Mac. You can use Camtasia. Now, Camtasia is a paid option and I'm going to show you a free way to do this in a minute. But let's start with Camtasia. So I've opened Camtasia and the reason why so many people, they like Camtasia, apart from it being easy to use, is you can also edit with it and capture the audio of any applications that are running on your computer if you want it. Maybe you want to capture a YouTube video, play the sound from the YouTube video and record your voice at the same time. You can do that. Now to get started, you see this little box down here? Here on the left hand side, this is where we select the region that we want to record. And I can either come down here and select one of the predefined ones, I'll just select that one. Then it gives you this rectangle which I can drag around to position. I can come over to the corner handles and I can resize if I wish. Click OK. But I'm not going to do because what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to record the full screen. So I'll select that. Then the next one along here, this is your inlay video. This is the little image of you that will appear over your screen recording. Now, quick tip because this will drive you insane if you don't know this. If you're in what's called a PAL region, i.e. the UK or Europe, and you've got your camera plugged in and you can see the little thumbnail here and everything's okay but when you record the inlay video of you doesn't appear that's because there's a little bug in Camtasia what you're going to do is turn your camera to NTSC when you do that then it will appear so if you run into that problem rather than pull your hair out trying to search for a solution for hours that's what you need to know so if you want an inlay video you've got to make sure that selected and from there of course you could select different cameras if you had different cameras selected I have not so I'll just select that one the next one along is your microphone that's your voice so currently I'm recording via my zoom h6 so it says h6 there and lastly here system audio if you wanted to say have a YouTube video playing and then you want it to narrate over the top of the YouTube video to capture the system audio you're going to have to make sure that's selected when you're happy with your selection just hit record we get a countdown three two one it's now recording so everything I say and everything I do in this region is going to get captured when I'm happy with that I'll just come up here to this little icon click stop recording the Camtasia interface loads and there we are there's our recording there's my little inlay video and what I can do I could move that around and I could position it into different corners if I wanted or I could just position it say there I could make it slightly bigger and then down here if I wanted to I can also edit the track add special effects whatever I like when I'm happy with my production if I come up here to export and then come down to local file and select that I get the options where I can save it I'm not going to do but that's how you do it with Camtasia and that's all great but it is paid software and you're limited to what you can do with the inserted video thumbnail it's limited to the basics you're not really going to set the world alight with a boring square little video up in the corner if you are happy just with a basic square thumbnail and you're on a Mac you can actually do all this for free. You can do it with QuickTime. But here's the thing with QuickTime. To get an inserted live video and to also capture your screen at the same time, we've got to set things up in a particular order. Otherwise, well, it won't work. So here's option two, the free option. 
quick time. And like I said, you've got to set this up in a certain order. So step number B, first thing I'm going to do is launch QuickTime. Just move that there, come up to here to it says file and then I want new movie recording. I'm going to select that. That's now got me presenting here on camera. And of course, if I had other cameras, I could choose them from there. I've not, so I'm going to leave that as, I, as is. I'm going to resize that. I'm going to park it, say, up here in the top right hand corner. Now, the next step is important. I'm going to come over to view, select that. And I want always, I want float on top. So I'm going to select that. Then when I've selected that, I'm going to come back again to the file menu. And this time I'm going to select new screen recording. OK, so there we go. Now I've got options. I could decide to record just a portion of the screen. I'm not going to do. I want to record the entire screen. So I'll select that. And then when I'm good and ready, all I've got to do is hit record. I'll select display one because I've got two displays connected to this Mac. So display one. And now as I'm talking, it's recording everything direct to camera. There's me then. In fact, I can even move myself around if I liked and I can resize it if I wanted to. And then anything that appears on this screen, if I open an application or whatever, it's going to also record record that. So if I open the browser, it would open. It would also display the browser. OK, so when you're happy with your recording, if you come up here to this little icon, select that. And then there is the video we've just recorded. There we go. <laughs> How good's that? So yeah, quick time. It's basic, but free. And now the way that I do it, and this opens up so many creative possibilities, far more than I could possibly go into in one lesson. And that's using Ecamm. Now Ecamm is a Mac only solution, but boy, what a solution it is. Ecamm is aimed at the beginner who wants to present professionally, but doesn't want to get into all the technical complexities. It's for people that just want to get on with it, build an audience, look professional without getting overwhelmed with all the, the tech. In fact, I'm going to put a link below so you can try Ecamm out for free. And if you do buy it, well, it's really cheap. I love Ecamm. Ecamm makes it really simple. And with just a couple of clicks of your mouse, you're presenting a slide deck. Insert your video on screen, change the shape, move the video about, share part of your screen with your slide deck, include a video with your slide deck. While you're on screen, have multiple cam handles at the same time. Even insert lower thirds like this. Click like and subscribe to my channel, which you should do. Do you like how I weave that in? Sneaky. And of course, with Ecamm, you can just present like this. In fact, this old video that you're watching now was recorded entirely with Ecamm. You can even stream live with Ecamm to the YouTubes and the Facebooks, even LinkedIn. And if you're on a PC, well, you're hosed. But if you've got a Mac, happy days. You're Ecamm ready. I hope this video helped. Until next time, bye for now.